made it on our first subway ride. We got the unlimited pass for seven days, $33, and we made it safely to somewhere in downtown New York. I don't know where we're at yet. Astor Place. Stop. So I, I'm just so my family has a history of music and specifically punk rock music and we were told to check out the St. Mark's neighborhood for some historic spots so we're going to walk around there now from the Astor Street Station. We just arrived at St. Mark's Place. We haven't even started walking down the street and we already found a bomb bagel shop. These bagels are bomb. They're amazing. This area of town did not disappoint. There's so much personality here on St. Mark's Place. It's definitely worth checking out. The whole family. It's got a very unique vibe. The New Yorker sums up the St. Mark's Bohemians as those who were beats in the 50s, hippies in the 60s, punks in the 70s, or anarchists in the 80s. So this building really caught my eye as we were walking by, and it's actually the Ottendorfer branch of the New York Public Library, and it opened in 1884. It was New York City's first free public library. Originally, it was set up by the German Society for the Healthcare Needs of Immigrants in the 1850s. So I walked right by this apartment building and had no idea that I was walking by the cover of the 1975 Led Zeppelin classic, Physical Graffiti. This iconic cover was of these two apartment buildings at 98 St. Mark's Place. There's one other musical connection for the same building. Recognize this guy? Yep, Mick Jagger, the Rolling Stones, shot their video waiting on a friend at the same building. To our surprise, we stumbled upon the Spring Zion Fair. This fair featured over 40 New York-based independent publishers and zine makers, as well as other various community activities to honor the East Village's rich countercultural history. It does a boo one and boo two. <laughs> this neighborhood the kids did some shopping bought some cool stuff and now we're headed 
for some cheesecake. If you remember, that little shop when we first got to St. Mark's Place had some really good looking cheesecake in the window. So we're going to go try to sample that. And then we're going to head to Washington Square in Greenwich Village. What I loved most about New York City was all the unexpected multicultural celebrations that we ran into during our visit all over the city. All this crazy excitement and we haven't even had lunch yet. We're stopping to eat at Murray's Bagels and right now there's no seating inside the tiny little place and there's only about four tables outside and they're all taken so we're just going to hang out on this park bench and the food in there looks really really good. They had a nice selection of bagels and look at all that cream cheese. Get to the menu. We ended up snagging a table outside. <laughs> 